Hi everybody, Steven Flagg here, and welcome back to another great Minecraft adventure map. Uh, this time we are going to be playing Lord of Cliff Manor Chapter 1 by Boona Boy. Uh, if I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, now this as well was part of the RS Malik Vanilla Challenge. Uh, like these, uh, similar to uh, Felonius and Bongo Tez's Who Shot Sam map, this map was built completely in vanilla. So uh, I wanted to check out another one of these maps, and uh, this one was suggested to me, so let's get right to it. So we started right here, there was a whole bunch of bread, and we have a book that we should check out. So it says, Welcome to the Lord of Cliff Manor by Boona Boy. This map was built entirely in survival as part of Aris Malik's Vanilla Challenge. For those of you who were waiting for this map, I'm sorry it was delayed. I rather stupidly built my survival base right in the middle of the action and had to destroy most of it so it wouldn't ruin the immersion. Yeah, I probably would have done the same thing. Rules. Don't break or place blocks unless told. Done. To keep the natural environment barrier free, well, I kept it barrier free, so just follow the paths and the directions of the story. Okay, stay on the path. Read books by characters and complete the objectives. If at any point it says to kill an NPC, hit their chest button to slash them up. Oh, that's cool. Don't steal stuff from random chests that look like they're from my survival. I should have cleared them all up, but I might have missed some. Okay. In the opening sequence, don't move in the minecart or leave it as you may die. Oh, shit. Only move forward once you hear the piston after the title screen. Okay, enjoy! Map by Boona Boy. Okay, so, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get this book again, so let's get rid of that. Alright, let's get started! Lord of Cliff Manor, Chapter 1. The pull of restless sleep brings back memories. Oh, cool. I remember waking up to my family, being born. Fathers and brothers crowded around me. But mother wasn't there long. Aww. She died in childbirth. Aww. <laughs> I was alone as a child, reading books and imagining stories of knights and goblins, genies and kings. If only I knew this was the world I lived in. Whoa. I began to spend my time with my younger sister, Izzy. As we read each new book, we drew closer together. My brothers were too busy running the farm and managing the old higgledy-piggledy house we called Clifftop Manor and home. Dad was never home much. He was always away somewhere. Things got bad quickly. There were knocks in the night, angry discussions, but Dad always protected us. Next room. I was taught at home the normal things for children. English, reading, writing, but mostly about religion. The earth is ruled by the elements, earth, air, fire, and water, among others. This, among others, <laughs> this, this region pays homage to the spiritual leaders. We were the citizens of the priests, followers of air. I was always taught little of priests. It was as if dad hated. Our home was lonely, but safe, built high on Clifton Peak. Life had its ups and downs. But then Dad got ill. He became feverish and crazy. He would repeat phrases over and over. It's all a lie, lie. They drew, the drew. The drew? He died quietly in his sleep, leaving everything to us. In a few weeks, or a few weeks, I remember fainting, black memories fuzzing, it was what happened to Dad all over again. Sleep called me, dreams and memories stirred. Dreams, memories blurring into one. Lies and tricks and tests. The Drew, the Drew will... The pull of life draws me out of the black fog, out of, the, out of dreams and memories. I'm flying over the earth, through the clouds, back to my body. There, jump in and press the button and don't move. Oh, this is awesome! Woo! Boona Boy presents. <laughs> oh, wow. The Lord. Oh, I'm going through the cloud. 
Cliff Manor. Have I just... What's going on? What's going on? Did I get stuck? Oh! Which way is forward? There we go. <laughs> uh... This is freaking awesome, Boona Boy. Oh, I died! But, uh, oh, I guess it was... I'm supposed to be right here anyway. Uh, I, th I think. Where did it go? Where did this place go I was supposed to be at? Oh, that's all my bread. Okay, can I... I'd like to get inside, please. Oh! Is this it? <laughs> oh my goodness, I kinda I kinda screwed up here. How do I get Okay, um yeah. Right. Right. Huh. Okay, I'm just right back where I was. Where am I supposed to be? That was very inconvenient. <laughs> oh, is is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. There's... A, okay, all right. Back to the story. I was flying through the clouds, and then... I woke up. I remember Izzy at my side. Izzy, my sister. Uh, oh, this is a great place. Yes. Izzy? Izzy was at my side. I don't see her, though. Izzy... I woke up with you at my side, but you're not here. Izzy. Oh, another chest. Can't get in there. Every step when I was ill. Where are they? I must find them. Outside? Okay. Should we go outside? Let's go. God, this place is built crazy! Outside, yes. The pain has not yet subsided. Come this way once you've talked to Izzy. Okay. So outside. <gasps> You're back! Is it you, Izzy? Are you Izzy? Am I... Hello? I don't know if that's Izzy. Is that Izzy? I'm supposed to go outside. Outside, yes. The pain has not yet subsided. Outside. Here we are. Oh, alright, alright. We can go down some stairs here. We'll go back. You must be oh, working in the garden here. Are you Izzy? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Let me get this bread out of here. Izzy? <laughs> Brother, how are you? The herb garden is flourishing. Soon we'll have m as many herbs and spices as we need for cooking. I trust that you have recovered after the shock of Dad. Well, it was terrible. You were lying in bed, ranting and mumbling and sweating, and it was like the devil had possessed you. Anyway, these herbs can't plant themselves. Bye! I think you're one of my brothers, and you have a really effeminate voice. I'm looking for Izzy. I'm pretty sure you weren't Izzy. Why is there a... What are you doing up here, Cal? My brothers have really effeminate voices. My brothers, too? Hey, bro. How's it going? Brother! Good news! We'll soon be feasting on ripe crops! <laughs> I remember the taste of potatoes. The harvest is looking good. The gods must be looking down on us. But I, hey, you're back and well. Izzy told us you'd be fine, and well, here you are. It, it was horrible, though. At first, we feared you'd die like dead. But alas, all is well. Thanks, bro. Is this you, Izzy? Brother, glad to see you well. The farm animals are great. 
I've never seen so many baby chicks in my life, and we've got eggs and milk and meat aplenty. It finally seems like we're on the road to success. But look at you. So healthy. When you, when you were ill, you were ranting like Dad, mumbling over and over again, the Drew, the Drew. It reminded me of Dad all over again. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, thanks, bro. What is the Drew? What is the Drew, bro? Somebody want to tell me what the Drew is? Are you one of my brothers, or are you Izzy? Brother, how are you feeling? Our stocks of raw materials are great, but hey, enough about that. Izzy's over by Dad's grave. She's worried, I think. Oh. I guess we should make our way over to Dad's grave. <sighs> I hope Izzy's okay. <laughs>